What's up guys, welcome back. So today, let's play 8-Ball from Williams. This table was released in 1966. This version is from Tyson. Um, I have never seen this table, but it, you know, it looks kind of similar to some of the other tables that I've seen. And one of the things that stands out to me um, that I absolutely love in a couple of tables that have done this is that pop bumper in the middle um, between these two stub flippers. Uh, not many tables uh, have done this, but the tables that do it, I, I really like it because the the pop bumper in the middle kind of acts like a drain post that can bounce back. It makes things fun. Um, if you've played Spanish Eyes, also from Williams, uh, it has a similar setup as well with the pop bumper. Um, and this table also has a horseshoe lane. Um, so it's basically like playing uh, real billiards, solids and stripes. As you can see on the back glass there and uh, I think it is you score the eight ball by hitting horseshoe lane so let's see how this game plays out love the artwork I love how you see that there's faces on the on the um, on the on the balls here you see that on the uh, eight ball there's like eyes and really nice artwork too Looks like the eight balls in jail. And <laughs> there's one of the eight balls of king. Oh, geez. Also, it's interesting to see the silver, like, metallic plating on the flippers. Oh, nice. Oh no! See that? That was pretty cool. It almost has to hit the pop bumper. If it doesn't hit the pop bumper, you you have to nudge, but that's like very tough to do. Oh man. I love hitting horseshoe loops. It's so satisfying. I think spinner shots and horseshoe loops are one of my favorite shots. Cause you just you get to see how the ball like interacts with the play field, right? Oh man! So I, I think we got the eight ball there, which is um, like an add a ball or an extra ball. I don't know though. Oh no! Got the red poppers lit. Put it in our high score. Let's go one more time here. <laughs> I also like how the kick out holes in the uh, on, in the center kind of kick out to the slingshots. 
Oh man, I hate when that happens. Wait, I'm kind of I'm kind of curious now because how exactly am I how may, how exactly do you spot the the balls? Like, how do I have the three? Or does that mean... I don't know. Okay, maybe it goes in um, ascending order. Like, I already start with the one. Like, I think each ball... Okay, I think each ball is scored by hitting the horseshoe loop. I believe. Oh no, 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 here it is. Here it is. It's the kick out holes. The kick out holes are spotting the lit balls. Okay. okay that's hurt. That's very helpful to know. So I gotta get the kick out holes. But it only spots it when the kick out hole is lit. So I guess for strategy it would be, you know, getting it getting into these kick out holes. Wow. Mm. Very addicting kind of gameplay though. So wait, did we get the... Th we must have gotten the two... One more time. Because <laughs> now that I found that out, it just like makes the game a little more interesting here. Oh my gosh. Like I don't know if we spotted the the one or is it are we getting is there other ways to spot the ball? Or is it only these kick out holes here? Oh wait, no, 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 there's another way. Okay, so the center drain light spotted ball as well when lit. So that's interesting. So if you're gonna drain, you wanna drain it through the center too. Okay, that is very interesting. I wanna go again now that I've seen that, see? So we didn't spot it because it wasn't lit, so we didn't get the one. That's unfortunate. Oh, almost it got it there. And the hard thing is the, the spot you know the spotlight is switching as you hit different targets. But I, I really like this setup here with this pop up in the middle. It makes. I mean, without this pop up in the middle, this game would not be as fun.
Ooh. And then I think hitting the slingshots also. See here. I, I'm, I've played five balls, but I haven't spotted anything yet. Oh, I can spot it now because it went down the middle. <laughs> Well, guys, thank you for watching me play 8-Ball from Williams. Thank you to Tyson for this nice release here. Um, on an e I think this is an EM, yeah, EM. Um, As you see there, I mean, I started to pick up how this game was played as I played more and just kind of discovered the table just by looking at the, you know, what's what it says. I think a lot of times with tables like EMs, um, for myself, uh, you know, sometimes I just ask myself, wait, how do I do this and that? And then you look on the table, there it is, spots, lighted ball, right? And so I think the designers of the EMs back in these days wanted to make sure that players could see these kind of things, it made it easy to see and read so that they could understand the table a lot more. Um, because in pinball, you know, knowing how the game plays um, is another big equation to doing good. Also on the bottom left, you can see um, you get a replay for 1,700 points, 2,600, etc., um, which I think was adjustable by the operator, because the operator could do three or five balls. So I don't know if the dip settings. I don't think I have that enabled um, on this one, but um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Till next time, I'll catch you guys there. Take care.